Jake Ludington here at Discover 2015 in London, and I'm here with Ken Leach, and we're in an IoT booth. What is it that HP is doing with IoT? Sure, so HP is trying to span the gap between data centers and the IoT market by introducing uh, new products such as uh, gateways uh, so that we can uh, run solutions from the data center but also span the edge and have access points uh, on industrial connected devices such as wind, wind farms, um, aircraft, you know, the, the air, air aircraft industry, um, auto manufacturing, you know, whatever devices you might want to be connecting in an industrialized environment, then we're trying to span that gap with our new products. So there's this kind of clear plastic box that's underneath this access point. What, what's that there for? So this is an example of an industrialized mo condition monitored device. So this is a, uh, we're monitoring a sound and vibration from a fan. So this is a demo fan unit from National Instruments that we can real time monitor uh, the X and Y axis vibration and movement so that we wanted to predict and uh, identify failures in uh, a wind farm, for example, or in a diesel engine. And if I'm correct, this is, this is the monitoring that's happening back here on the screen that may or may not show up in the video very well. Yes, correct. So this is a real time uh, vibration monitoring using a National Instruments software called LabVIEW and uh, National Instruments hardware connected to the sensors. And then we're using our uh, access points uh, gateways from uh, HPE that can upload the data to the cloud or the data center, wherever you need to uh, send that real-time big analog data to. And this might be mounted actually on a turbine somewhere out in a field somewhere? It could be, it's, it's designed to be ruggedized. It could be mounted on a turbine, it could be uh, mounted on uh, drilling rigs, it could be mounted on ships, airplanes, automobiles, anything that you need to connect it to. All right, well, let's take a look at what this looks like once you're back in the data center and the, what's been captured from this has been passed over to a server somewhere. So the Moonshot chassis is a hyperscale chassis form where it can hold up to 45 uh, scalable systems or servers. So each uh, cartridge is its own compute server and they have different types of CPUs available, the memory configurations, everything that you might need. It depends on the software solution that you're gonna run on the servers to determine which types of cartridges you would choose. But they all fit in the same chassis, the Moonshot chassis. And so you, you kind of made the point earlier about this allowing the data to move closer to the end user um, rather than it being transported around the world uh, kind of in not real time. Is that, uh, how, how does that work? Sure, with our uh, Moonshot Citrix mobile workspace solution, uh, we enable Citrix Zen Desktop and Zen App, which is a Citrix product with our partner Citrix. Uh, we install that on our Moonshot servers in the data center. Once the data, the real-time data, is sent through the cloud to the data center, then we need to uh, run analysis software on that for maybe machine learning, predictive analysis, uh, alerting and monitoring, condition monitoring of that system. So the Moonshot servers run all of this software that's needed, and then we can enable remote access of that, those applications, such as uh, National Instruments uh, DDM, which is a condition monitoring data analysis program. We can enable remote access to any user anywhere around the world through our Citrix uh, remote um, capabilities. So with Citrix Zen Desktop and Zen App. So that's what we see here, Citrix Zen App running uh, the DDM application. So a data scientist uh, halfway around the world could remote into the data center where the data and the servers are uh, stored rather than us having to send the data out to the user. We, we, seen, uh, we, send, uh, we send pixels out to the user through screen scraping. We send so, so that way the, the data is not actually getting out um, into the world somewhere by accident. It's, it's a visual representation of the data. Yeah, correct. It's a visual representation. And in our Moonshot servers, you can enable that uh, we have embedded graphics, so you could have 3D visualization of the data, a very good graphics capabilities and a low power footprint so that you can have uh, remote capabilities and uh, very good uh, uh, computing of the software solution. So, so in a scenario where there, we're talking about like kind of this turbine solution, uh, what would somebody be potentially looking for and how would this data be useful to them? Sure, so say if you were doing a vibration monitoring uh, where you had national instruments devices connected to your sensors, like a, a wind turbine, it's condition monitoring, uh, monitoring vibration, thermal, um, maybe door sensors on the doors and cameras and anything that you can think of to connect to that uh, wind farm, then the National Instruments uh, hardware would then be sending the data through our access points to the data center. And from the data center side, we are uh, running the software 
and uh, an analytics portion of the solution so that you can have alerting, condition monitoring. You would know immediately if uh, there was a failure in the uh, device or the wind farm. You would know if uh, there is maintenance that's required. You would know if uh, there was um, unexpected uh, access to the device. Anything that you might need uh, and also for predictive um, maintenance later on.